Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, I know I haven't been up on YouTube very long, and I know that most of you have probably subscribed to me because of my tarot videos, and which are no longer up on my channel, and probably a lot of you are wondering what's going on. But then I would just really like to take this video to sort of explain my personal story and how I got here, which will be covering like why exactly I deleted my tarot videos up on YouTube. So, I will put a trigger warning that there will be verbal and emotional abuse like explained in this video and this has been very hard for me to make so I'm gonna just say a quick prayer. I pray that like this video comes out the right way and that I have the strength to like really speak my story and that it helps somebody out there like who needs it as well. All right, amen. <laughs> All right, so anyway, so let's start, but let's backtrack a bit. So I was born um, 20 years ago, I, I turned to 20 recently, so yay, happy birthday to me, yay, confetti, anyway, um, so I turned 20, like, 20 years ago, uh, no, I, I was born 20 years ago, and then I, um, was born into a family that, where, so I didn't have the easiest childhood, in fact, that would be an understatement, I feel like a lot of my childhood was very sad, and I don't really like to think about it, and I don't really like to talk about it either, so, I grew up in a relatively wealthy family, and I am of mixed race, so like my mother is Chinese while my dad is American. But growing up, my mom had a lot of mental health issues and unresolved anger issues that she accumulated from her childhood, and she would often take it out on, well, me. I just, growing up, like, I would constantly, like, get beat and stuff by my mom, like, if I did something wrong. And then... Growing up, I was also verbally abused a lot, and I had a lot of anger, like, taken out on me. So, I have a lot of trauma from that time, and, like, to be honest, like, talking about it here is, like, really difficult. Because, precisely because, like, in my life, I've tried to be a good person, and I've tried to do good things, and I never understood why all those bad things would just constantly happen to me over and over again. Like, when I was little... My mom would just like hit me and then I would be crying in my room and then I would feel so alone like I would I would hug my stuffed toys and then I felt comforted then but like I would always wonder like why this was happening to me like why me why me like it was just a really traumatic experience so when I grew up like eventually when we got to middle school it got a little bit better, although like, there were constantly things that like happened to me and I couldn't really talk about these openly with my friends at the time, which made me feel really alone because I didn't know how to. I felt too ashamed. So there was this one time where my mom, no, sorry, my friend um, invited me to go to a sleepover to the place because it was just supposed to be this big awesome sleepover and I went with them. Um, Afterwards, though, like, I had to go to the dentist, and for whatever reason, my mom was really, really mad at me in the car, and she started yelling at me, which made me cry, because I'm not sure what I did wrong, or what I did to deserve this, and all that stuff, and there have been many instances where I felt so alone. I remember when I was five, like, I picked up the phone and called my dad, like, when I was at work after something that my mom did, I don't quite remember, but, and I was like, dad, help me, and stuff like that, and I feel like... I've just tried to speak up about this time and time again, but I feel like I keep getting shut down. And it's just, the worst part is that I'm still living with them and it's just awful. Like I absolutely hate like every bit of it and it's just been terrible. So needless to say, <clears throat> I had a lot of trauma from my childhood and I still carry a lot of resentment with me and stuff because I don't believe I deserved any of this and I would never wish this upon another person. So, as I was saying, I was carrying a lot of emotional wounds and I feel like this spilled over into a lot of areas of my life. Like, I just... I try to be a positive person, but like, from what I can see, I feel like this upbringing has just been a big curse and like a big burden to me in my life. And like, I really hate it, like, and I resent the fact that like, my mother was this way, like, I would never wish this upon anybody, like, I would obviously choose like, having an empathetic mother if I could, but... So what I'm trying to say is that 
growing up, like, I don't think I ever really knew who I was. And then I also tried to, like, hide myself a lot, my true personality, because I didn't really know who I was either. Like, I felt scared of people. Like, I felt like I couldn't really trust them. And I had a lot of trust issues because of this. And I just went through, like, a lot of my life just feeling really alone. Like, even in middle school, like, high school, and then... In high school, I feel like this led to me, like, getting into a lot of toxic relationships. So, the first thing is that, like, when I moved to my new high school, like, there was this person that, like, nobody liked at my high school, which was for a reason. Like, not because people were just hating on this individual, but this individual approached me and I had bad vibes, got bad vibes from this situation. But because I was really lonely inside and stuff, like... I wish I trusted my better judgment, but because I was really lonely, I kind of let him like, hang around and then we ended up being in some kind of relationship. Although that fell apart, obviously, and my parents did not approve of this guy either because even though they were not the greatest role models themselves, they weren't really encouraging of me dating this person. In hindsight, they were right, and then that experience left me very broken as well because I feel like due to my trauma, like, it left me with very low self-esteem, and it's really hard for me to believe that I'm worthy when my whole life people have just constantly, like, given me shit, whether it's being bullied by my mom or my brothers or just people at home. I just felt like nobody ever really cared about my story, about what I had to say, and I was constantly, like, suppressing, like, my feelings and stuff just so I could survive. And I hate this so much, like, I hate it with a passion, like, I feel like this is enslavement, this is imprisonment, this is wrong, this is just completely wrong, and what I absolutely hate is, like, how, like, I try so hard to be a good person, like, I never try to hurt anybody. Of course, I'm I'm still human, and I make my mistakes, sometimes I'm proud, sometimes I have a hard time connecting with other people, and, you know, sometimes, like, I'm human just like everyone else, but I always try to do the right thing, and I never, like, act out to hurt others. And then, so, these were just some awful experiences that I've had, and I would just wonder, like, why am I so unlucky? Like, I feel like so many other people in my life were experiencing good friendships, good romantic relationships, and had good family relationships, and meanwhile, it was just me. Like, I feel, I genuinely feel felt cursed by it so growing up i was a christian and this is where my faith part comes in um we used to go to church i was baptized when i was born and we were raised catholic so my faith used to be a huge part of who i was until i ended up rejecting christianity because there were some things in it that i didn't really like or i didn't feel it didn't feel right to me at the time and my mother, who was a Buddhist, also had a lot of influence on me. Um, when we were not, when she was not being mean to me, we actually had somewhat of a relationship. And I feel like this is a typical example of how toxic relationships are. It's just that the person, like, is clearly someone who's, like, mentally unstable. And they're out to destroy, whether intentionally or not. And, but there would be other times where they were, they can put up a front, and that's the danger. Anyway, so she was Buddhist, and I decided to become a Buddhist as well, and for a while that stuck. And then somehow, um, in December of 2018, is when I first came across a tarot video. I have always had a fascination with the occult ever since I was a little kid, even though I never got involved in it. So when I was eight years old, like I went, I went to this park in my area, and there's this fortune telling, um, little thing, if that makes sense. It wasn't a person, it was like this little fortune-telling thingy. And then I was really fascinated by it, and when I turned 13, I became really obsessed with astrology for some time, but because of my Christian beliefs, like, I was like, nah, this stuff is probably secretly evil, which I guess I was right about. But anyway, back in 2018 is when I first started getting into tarot videos, because at the time, I was going through a really rough patch in my next relationship which we had gone long distance um and i was looking for guidance and then i saw this tarot video and i recommended and i was like i probably should not click on that 
but because like I was feeling very alone, I did. And I was very surprised at the accuracy. Um, it was by a very popular tarot um, YouTuber here on YouTube. If you guys watch tarot, then you probably know who she is, although I'm not going to name her because I don't think that's necessary. So that kind of got me into curious about tarot, but after I watched that, I was like, nah, I'm going to stay away from now on, so I did. And then I met this friend in college who knew about tarot, and that just started uh, pushing me in the direction of new age stuff. I started watching a lot more tarot videos, and it gave me a sense of comfort and peace for the first time in a while. And I found out about the law of attraction, too. So this had all happened right after I broke up with my second boyfriend, because that didn't work out. And that's like another story to tell and ultimately like I try to be grateful because of this experience but at the same time I'm just kind of done like if I could have ridden out my life I would not have ridden out this way at all like all the negative experiences and bullshit and people have had to encounter and like no thank you anyway so I got really into the law of attraction and that really started to empower me because I was like after all this shit, if you will, I've gone through, I was like, well, maybe there's a way out of it. And that got me really into it. And I learned about tarot, and I eventually bought my own deck, and I learned how to do cards, and then I started this channel here, and it was very empowering for me at first, until things just started to get, like, worse in my life. Like, I was cutting off, like, friendships and people because they had bad vibes. And in some cases, like, they did which is fair, but I feel like it really got in the way of me, like, being able to have healthy relationships with others, and I still don't know how, like, these things even work. I feel like deep down, I've always had this sense of unworthiness and the deceptiveness of the New Age movement, like so many others have said on YouTube, is that everything seems so love and light at first, um, because, you know, like, oh, these tarot cards are so pretty, you can create your own reality, it seems very comforting. These demons that were behind it really knew how to target my weaknesses because growing up I never felt really loved and I never felt empowered and I just constantly felt like my life was just a big disappointment because I couldn't really find anything fulfilling about it because it was just negative experience after negative experience and I was just really done. So Law of Attraction gave me a temporary relief and so did this YouTube channel. I was guided to start my own tarot channel, and I did, which started to gain traction, and even had a few clients. Then on my birthday, which was just a few days ago, I hit a massive rock bottom in my life. That day, just, everything just sort of fell apart. Like, the one bad thing led to another, and then the next thing I knew, I was breaking down. What I hadn't revealed is that ever since getting into the new age, I started having more suicidal thoughts Although, like, some of these were already here from the time, like, where I was, like, experiencing heavy abuse, and it just seemed to multiply, and it wouldn't really go away. I really wanted to end my life. And there have been a few times where I almost attempted, should I say, and it just never happened, but, like, I just felt very suicidal out of nowhere, and I didn't understand where those was coming from. The hind in hindsight now, I now know that these suicidal thoughts were multiplying because of my involvement with the occult. These entities behind it are not your friend. And this is coming from someone, the last person, like, I would have expected to become a Christian myself. That these things are not your friend. They're not here for your highest good. They're here to destroy you. They're here to bring you down. They don't care about you. I don't care how pretty everything seems. And I know this may be upsetting to some of you in the new age, which by the way, if you are, like, I have no judgment towards you at all. Because I was there myself. I understand. Especially if you had a similar upbringing to me or a similar background. Well, regardless of why you're there, like, I, I get it. Like, everything seems very pretty and I'm not here to, like, try to force my beliefs upon you. But, at the same time, I feel like this needs to be said as well. That these things are not in your highest good. And... I found out because I was watching, I got guided to like these testimonies of people who left the new age for Jesus on their birthday. This is after I hit that massive rock bottom. And everything they were saying made sense. Like, I was like, I was very shocked. Like, just all the things that like happened and things like that and how things were not getting better. 
The thing with New Age is that when you are manifesting things and making things work in your life, you are unintentionally, whether you're aware of it or not, giving up something else. And I know this because I was watching a lot of testimonies of other people. Like, there's one YouTuber called Lily Hubbard, I believe. Yeah, so she was talking about how she came across a dead deer fetus, and, like, that made her realize when she was heavily into, you know, the occult, that, like, her spells were spells, because, like, the law of attraction is technically spell work, but it's just disguised as something more love and light, where it was causing, like, these beings to die, because these evil spirits would just kill, like, the kill things and sacrifice things or if you get stuff. And that explained why I came across a dead bird, like, in my time at Tiro. Like, at the time, I just thought it was an omen, but I didn't understand what it was. Now I know that that dead bird, if it wasn't something that I had unintentionally caused, it was an omen from God for me to stop what I was doing because I was going down the wrong path. So anyway, now I'm out of it, like, I feel like the past few days I felt lighter and more peaceful, like, true inner peace, like, the first time in a very long time, because allowing Jesus back into my life has been, I feel like, one of the best decisions I've ever made, because I can truly feel that he does love and care for me, and I started reading the Bible again, and I feel like there's no other way to explain this 180, 360 turn other than through Jesus himself, because it's through his grace that I found a sense of peace again. That being said, though, the abuse story for me has not ended. I, unfortunately, due to me getting kicked out of university, well, not kicked out, they asked me to leave for a year because my grade class must have said that I was forced to come home, and this is the last place I wanted to be, and been praying to Jesus to give me more strength to help overcome this, but at times, like, there are times where I just don't want to deal with it anymore because I really resent my life. I just wish more good things happened to me. I wish I wasn't suffering here in this abuse, and I wish I was, like, somewhere else, like, anywhere else. To this day, like, my mother still has her angry outbreaks, and it really affects my mental health. I don't really know how to deal with it. I feel like I do everything I can to try to be a perfect daughter, but... It's just not working out. And tarot used to be my way out too because I started building a career with it so I could make money. Although my intention was to help people, I also wanted to my I also wanted to have a career where I was helping people, um, but also getting money in return. So this way like obviously like I could save up enough to move out. But now I feel more lost than ever. And yeah, if you came across this video and you are a Christian, then, you know, I would say please pray for me because my life just feels really awful right now and this is not me being an all pity party and stuff, it's just me telling the truth. And yeah, I truly hope that my story has helped and touched somebody out there though regardless. And yeah, bye guys.